it's that time of year, Black Friday, holiday sales, watching football, getting fat on the sofa, all of that stuff. And people are just like, it's Thanksgiving. It's that special time with friends and family. And I really sat back and I kind of thought about it. And, um, you know, this is going to sound really, really wrong, but I kind of, I feel bad for y'all. I'm actually starting to walk. I feel like for the last five years, I've been just kind of crawling on the floor of this internet marketer type deal and making money on. I feel like I was just crawling on the floor. Now, bam, there's a lot of good stuff in this fucking video. Yes, I'm back to using the word fuck. If you're offended, you know what to do. Unsubscribe, go away, don't bother me. Also, for those of you who stay, be sure to go to the end of the video. There's some killer, cool shit there. And I know, well, what do you mean? I feel bad for you. Every day should be Thanksgiving. Every day that you are above ground should be Thanksgiving. You should even be thankful for the shitty days. I know you're going, I'm crazy. But hear me out. This year has been what I call a defining moment for me. A lot of shit happened. A lot of shit happened. And I had people just punching. And sometimes it was two or three people punching at the same time. Imagine, you're in the ring, you're in your corner, and out of all of those other three corners, someone's coming. Body blows, to the chin, all of this stuff. And I was sitting down when I was in the gym, and I was moving some weight. Now, I realized, all of those punches... All of those hits, all of those body blows, all of those double teams, triple teams, I never fell down. I didn't stumble. My knees didn't even buckle. And I was really thinking, you should put this in the proper perspective. You should really, really put this in the proper perspective. Because I, I thought about it, and I sat down, and I was like, wow, this has been a remarkable year. This has been a remarkable fucking year. Because when you get tested and people are punching and people are saying stuff and people are doing stuff and your knees don't even buckle, I didn't hit the mat. I, the, the, the ref never even got a chance to go because I never got down. And I thought about that and I was like, why? Then I, I really thought about it. I practice gratitude. I am grateful for the good. I am grateful for the pain. And this is why. Both scenarios, both dynamics present you the opportunity to grow. Typically, when you're going through some stuff, you create a lot of freaking energy. Some people channel that energy into debauchery, bullshit, drugs, alcoholism, or other self-destructive behavior. Have you ever thought, what if you channel that energy into creating the life that you want? Because the thing is, it's energy. It's not good energy. It's not bad energy. It's energy. And if you use it, you know, and the thing is, I've created several courses, wrote three books, made a lot of new friends. And I was just like, whoa, this is a remarkable fucking year. This is a remarkable fucking year. And also, this is a habit that I have. Most days I wake up and before my feet hit the ground, I say, it's a great day. Just immediate. Out loud, it's a great day. It's a good day. Every day I say that. Doesn't matter if it's raining, doesn't matter if it's snow outside, because I'm grateful that I woke up. I am grateful for the opportunity to actually live the way that I live. I, a friend of mine said this about two weeks ago. He said, you're one of the few people that I know that really enjoy what you do for a living. And I thought about this, like, and I kind of take that for granted. I really do. And I, I have to be better for that, because, you know, I'm grateful for the life, because I wanted to be a writer, I wanted to be a content creator, and I managed to fashion a living doing what makes me happy. Now understand, what makes me happy. Not following my passion, because I'm going to tell you, doing these videos and shit, in the beginning, this was bullshit. I hated it. I would sit there, sometimes sit in front of the camera, I don't want to do it. The little bitch in me would just be running around the room going, you ain't going to do shit. And then I pushed myself to do it. I really didn't like the first 50 videos. Maybe the first 70. It was about 20 I deleted because I thought they were just butt naked horrible. And I now enjoy videos. And something else happened from doing something. Once again, I do things that make me happy. See, the happiness wasn't here. I had to dig for it. 
I had to push for it. I had to fight for it. I had to throw uppercuts. I had to really, really fight to be happy. And many of you are looking for happiness to walk up into your lap, sit down, and tickle your chin and go, I'm here, baby. I'm here for you. I'm he No, no. Happiness is an amazingly costly pursuit. You will pay for it. And how do you pay for it? In gratitude. And this is something else, and this is some of the things that I teach people at Hushie University, and I, I, you know, I drop it in Facebook. You cannot be ungrateful for what you have and expect to get more stuff in life, or more love, or more friends, and more family, whatever you want. I've seen people say things about their partner, you know, their wife, their husband, like, oh, and I, I was like, that really sucks. That's really stupid, because if you feel... And so this is what someone said, that, oh, I can get someone better. Or when you feel that what you have is insufficient and you're not grateful for it, what you're doing is telling the universe is you don't want this shit. Even though you really want it, you just don't appreciate it. So you set yourself up where you're not going to get any more. I have looked at things from a different standpoint because... When I first started this, and I tell this all the time, the first few months, I didn't make any money. And many people are like, oh, you know, on YouTube, you're selling books, you know, you're doing this, you're doing... They don't go back to 2009. It's 2014. Very soon to be 2015. And the thing is, I don't like everything that I do for this business. I love the writing part. Hate the editing, hate the correcting, hate, hate. There's a lot of shit that I hate about writing, but I love the results. I love the emails that I get. That, hey, I got your book. I got this course. And man, you know, it really made a difference in my life. It, it really helped me. It really took me out of a dark place. That stuff is priceless. And that's why I say that I am more wealthy now than I've ever been before because I have all types of intangible wealth, clout, recognition. Uh, I can call people now and they answer the phone on the first ring. 2009, that wasn't happening. Connections around the world. And I was just like, wow, this has been a remarkable fucking year. And the thing is, when you start practicing, focusing on what's going right versus elevating and amplifying what's going wrong, you'll see more things go right. Because I looked at some things and I can't tell you what I did. But a project that I put in place, because you know I'm a social scientist, I'm always doing this shit. And I put this project in place and it worked like a motherfucker. I was just like, the results were just like, shit, this is sick. And I have to actually give myself credit. And I really thought about that because, you know, there are many people who are like, well, he does this, he talks about this. I really never sat down and thought about it. In 2009, I decided to become a writer. I decided to make YouTube videos. I decided to put a book out. I decided to make a living as a writer. And all those things came to be and more came along with it. If you are ungrateful for the things that you have, that here it is, Thanksgiving, you're losing your mind, you're putting so much stress on yourself because the macaroni ain't just right, or you know, you got to face Uncle Bill who molested you. You don't want to go to this event, but you got to go to this event. Do you realize you have a choice? You don't have to be around fucking Uncle Bill who molested you. You can stand up and say, look, I don't like that motherfucker. He did some foul shit and fuck him. But many people are suffering in silence because this day is so special because so many days in the year are not special. You shouldn't be fucking focusing on Thanksgiving. You should focus on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You should make each one of those days as remarkable as you fucking can versus sitting around waiting for a few holidays to come around so you can run around and act like you're happy. That's why I say I feel sorry for a lot of you because... This day is so special because most of your year is fucked up. That's tragic. Tony Robbins said some years ago, and I really didn't understand what he meant when he said it. He said, my Mondays are better than most people's Christmases. And I just thought, what does he mean? I know. I fucking know. Now, I fucking know. Because when you wake up and you can decide what you're going to do, 
who you're going to work with, how you're going to work your project, how you're going to do this thing, you create a certain amount of personal wealth and power that edifies you and it removes you from the matrix. It's like, you know, you can never completely unplug from the matrix. So instead of being out of the matrix, you're over here like you got a subsection. You remember the movie where the dude made the chick come because he put a little some sum in a drink. So it's like you got your own section that you run and you control. And really, as long as you don't mess with the major metrics and you, you pretty much do what the fuck you want to do. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. I sit at home and I get on my computer and I either get on my phone and I talk to people and I communicate to you and, you know, just thank you for everybody that bought something, that came to a hangout, that came to a spree cast, that, you know, took you to me court. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it because, you know, practicing fucking gratitude, you know, for the person who, who sent me this really lovely email. I donated a dollar to you. That's all I had. But, you know, thank Perfect. Awesome. I appreciate your fucking dollar. Because if you're not grateful for what you get, you can't get more. Because <laughs> you have people like, hey, they, they didn't get a tip or something, or they didn't get as much, and they're like, fuck that. Pissing on that. What you're doing is pushing those things further and further away from you. Your life is not going to fill up. So what I'm saying to you is, be thankful every day. Make every fucking day Thanksgiving. Do not sit around and wait until the last Thursday in November to get happy and to get together. You know, here's a thought. Pick a day, any fucking day, and just call up the family and say, look, we're going to create this family tradition, dinner, whatever the hell, and everybody's going to get together. We're going to do a routine. And there's a lot of people who do shit like that. And those days are just as special as Thanksgiving and Christmas. And one of the things is, I look at how much stress is produced during this time of year for people who are pretending to be happy, for people who are just for some reason thinking that a facade of happiness is better than the actual present of happiness that you can give yourself by making the proper decisions to be happy and to do things that make yourself happy. Do not fucking wait around until the holidays to be happy or thankful. Make every day like Thanksgiving. Make every day cool. Now, I want to tell you a really, really funny story. Funny, funny story. I was out and about, and I ran against, I ran against, I guess, ran, because we were against each other. I ran into someone who used to employ me. I ran into someone who fired me. Remember when I also talked about that 18 month period where I lost my job three times? That was one of the people. And uh, I saw her, right? Didn't recognize her. Didn't recognize her. Life has just beat the fuck out of her. I, I was just sore because I got out of my, my vehicle and she was right next to me. And I looked at her and she looked at me. And then that moment of recognition. And she was like, hey. And I was like, hey, how you doing? She's like, you don't remember. I was like, I fucking remember your ass. You fired me. And she said, that was a long time ago. I was like, I still remember it. I, I remember it like it was yesterday because it was one of the most fucked up periods in my life. But um, it's cool. You know, I've done well. And then you do the thing like, so what are you doing? And then that's the reason I'm doing this video. Because it's like, well, um, I've written several books. I've got a YouTube channel. I've got my own online school. I've got, you know, students around the world. She's just looking at me. And her eyes are getting bigger and bigger. Because, see, I was that dusty scrub, you know, what, from uh, TLC, you know, just a scrub riding on the passenger, you riding on your best friend's car on the passenger side trying to I was that dude because I didn't have a car. And I was like, damn. I mean, she saw me at my absolute fucking worst probably the lowest I've ever been in life. And that's one of the reasons I got fired because I was a little moody. And, you know, she just looked, she said, you've really come a long way. And I said, thanks. And got out of my vehicle, went where I was going. And you know how you feel someone's eyes on you? And I look back and she's staring at me. She can't fucking believe this. And this is why, this is a remarkable year. I've had a lot of things come to light. I've had a lot of people apologize to me for shit they did to me years ago. And part of the reason is I practice gratitude. I want you to think of your life as a cup. If you're constantly pouring bullshit, 
anger, bad feelings, or, you know, actually taking that cup and carrying shit around that bothered you in 1966, 1967, as if it happens right now, you're a fucked up person because you are the bearer of your own misfortune and unhappiness because you can't let shit go. That's who you are. So if you look at your cup as I need to put some gratitude in here, I need to put some happiness in here. If you got to stuff that in there because see, that cup's going to fill up one way or another. It's going to fill up with negativity. It's going to fill up with misery. It's going to fill up with bullshit because something else that happened. Uh, someone who was, who was, I call him a former dick rider because he was all on my dick at one point. He got stuck. He's still doing the same stupid shit he was doing two years ago. And what I don't think people realize that you don't change how you think. You're not going to change how you live. And I looked at this person and I laughed. And I was just like, this person is still doing the same dumb shit with the same dumb people. And I understand, when you don't enhance your mental level and take things to a you will actually regress. You will get what I call the Al Bundy fucking syndrome. You know, I was the high school quarterback and I threw the long bomb when the best that you ever was was 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. You stopped living at that point. You just died. You just said, fuck it, this is the best I'm going to be. You peaked and you hit that fucking wall. And the wall said, oh! And eat your ass up. That's a choice. You know hitting the wall is a choice. It's a choice. You can actually make a different choice. But I have learned that I want to talk about what I'm currently doing and not what I've done. When I meet people, and it's a weird thing because there's so many things to do. It's like, what do you do? It's like, well, I do YouTube and I do books. And I'm a content creator. You know, I'm the author and the founder of Hustlers University. I like that because those places and those devices and those products help people. And also, I'm getting richer and richer and richer in ways that I couldn't even imagine. I have people doing shit for me. People just like, hey, I'll do this, I'll do this. So, like I said, it's been a fucking remarkable year. And what I want you to do is to make your next year fucking remarkable. Now, how do you do this? One, you stop doing the same dumb shit you're doing today. If you got people in your tribe who don't like you, who are backstabbers, fucking leave. If you're in a fucked up relationship and you think it's going to get better after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20 years, you're fucking stupid. You need to either make that relationship better or make out of that relationship. It's a choice. If your partner doesn't want to make it better, you've got your answer. I see all of this stuff on Facebook. Now, if you're a Facebook friend of mine and you go to my page, you know there ain't really shit on there because I have decided to invest my time and energy into helping you, to building products, to building hustle. I'm walking. My legs are still shaking, but I'm walking and I'm smiling and I'm banging against the window because there's a dog outside and I want the dog to talk to me, but the dog is like, hey, that little thing in there looks a little dangerous, so I'm going to stay out here. But anyway, that's where I'm at. And I want you to be here. So just check the end of the, the video. Check the end of the video. Uh, there will be some awesome stuff there for you. Be sure.